okay now we are going to discuss meeting one which is about discourse analysis okay what is discourse analysis discourse analysis means to study the ways sentences and utterances speech go together to make text and interactions and how those texts and interactions fit into our social world it means that when we study discourse analysis we will analyze the utterances of other people maybe it can be from movie script audio script or maybe the conversation from the daily conversation or maybe the formal conversation it should be noticed that the discourse analysis is not just the study of language but a way of looking at language as well so when you learn discourse analysis there will be series of materials related to the the meaning of the text the purpose of the text the writer's attitudes the writer's ideology identity and and so on so we can analyze them comprehensively this way of looking at language is based on four main assumptions the first one language is ambiguous what things mean is never absolutely clear language is always in the word that is what language means always matter of where and when it is used therefore when you analyze the ta the text there will be kind of hidden meanings that maybe the probably the writer wants to convey so to understand that you have to learn the discourse analysis of and the other matter is the way of we use language is inspirable from who we are and the different social groups to which we belong this section deals with the community speech or maybe the community where they will use different discourse from other communities Number four, language is never used all by itself. It is always combined with other things such as our tone of voice, facial expressions, and gestures when we speak, and the fonts, layouts, graphics we use in written text. Yeah, uh, in this case, when you learn a text, you can find that it will be deal with other kind of things for example like when you hear someone speaking yeah you will uh, identify what kind of face expressions they are going to use and maybe what are voices like high pitch maybe or maybe lo like low pitch that can be considered as the analysis of non body language gestures including the gestures so those those things will be related to comprehensively comprehends the meaning completely okay what is good in this social analysis when you learn this social analysis you are going you will be able to communicate more effectively by understanding the text and the structure or maybe the conversation and uh, what is the text text is everything that is meaningful in particular situation and the basis for meaning is choice how about texture texture is the quality that makes a particular set of words or sentences a text rather than a random collection of linguistic items so it is relationship between one set of choice and another for example like in the conversation yeah what are important things that make a text is a text the first one features inherent in the language itself things for example like grammatical rules or the structure or organization of the text the language characteristics and other things 
Number two, these features that help you to figure out the relationship between the various sets of choices. So when you consider text is a, is a text, is you can uh, set up the choices of the goals or purposes of the text whether it will be like narrative text you can retell the story or you can entertain the readers or report text where you can describe something scientifically and other things text and their social function what is meant by genre Genre is a recognizable communicative event characterized by a set of communicative purposes identified and mutually understood by members of the community in which it occurs. In other words, genre means a text. So, in the set of genre, it is similar with a text that have the goal or the purposes of the creation of genre and also the communicative event or you can say the organization structure of the genre itself and it is shared by the communities what is meant by genre analysis it is study of the social function of different kinds of the text so texts are in the collection of the genre so genre has a uh, collections of texts to be analyzed Genre characterization. The first one, genres are communicative events. Most texts are not just trying to get only one thing done. The communicative purposes of the text are often multiple and complex. Conventions and constraints. These constraints govern not just what can be included, but also how it should be included. Therefore, when you want to study about text, there will be the purpose of the communicative events and also the conventions, the grammatical structure that are related to it. The creativity, that is not to say that all job applica application letters or other genres like newspapers, articles, and recipes are always exactly the same. As the directors of the often the most successful texts are those which break rules, they will convention and push the boundaries of constraints so when you create or when you find out the examples of the text it will always show us the creativity from the author or from the creator of the text or genre for example when one text of the newspaper can be different to discuss about one typical topic for example if, if you find out the Jakarta Post discussing about the full rises in Indonesia and also uh, another one is from another newspaper with the same discussion but because of the creativity of the author of the creator of the text it will discuss differently not not exactly the same number four discourse communities genre are always such genres are always associated with certain groups of people that have certain common goals and common ways of reaching these goals so certain genres will be set in certain groups of people including specific culture maybe specific gender specific situation and other things discourse and ideology okay uh, so before we go to here uh, I'm going to give you a tax for example, can you restate about what is the discourse analysis from the explanation that I have already mentioned? So that's for the talks of meeting one. 
you can write in the comments thank you very much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh